Hi, I'm Emma Liu, the Creative Director with Heartfelt Creations. Today we're using a brayer. If you haven't seen it before, it's this wonderful tool. We're using it to create a shimmery background with stamp paint. It adds quick color to your cards. You're going to love it. So join me and we'll learn it together. To create the stamp paint background, you're using the stamp paint in the brayer, and I love how this image is just simply beautiful on top. So to get started, I like to use a clear cardstock as a base because it's a non-porous surface, and then I'll put just a little bit of the colors that I'm wanting to use. This is the gold uh, stamp paint, and I'll just put a chunk of the stamp paint out onto my um, tray and just kind of rub that around. I'm also using some of the moss green, so you just kind of dip into the little container just a little bit and just kind of rub this around. Um, you can kind of make it as wide as you like. I usually kind of try to make it the width of the actual brayer. I might want to add just a little bit more green in there. Now once you've added the stamp paint, I like to go back and just add a little bit of water to it to kind of dilute it and make that it moves very easily. I'll go back with the gold I'm just going to kind of swirl it in the center just a little bit. Okay, I think this looks like it's ready to get started. So we have a little bit of green and gold mixture on this one. So this is really, you can just create your own palette. Um, I just absolutely love the creativity of creating your own shimmery backgrounds and it dries very quickly, which is so much fun. Um, so once the brayer looks very well inked up, I'll just kind of pull this aside I like to do this technique on a glossy cardstock. So I'm just kind of starting at one side and just going back and forth. So you'll see that first sweep of color and you'll just go back and forth until all the color has been transferred. So you'll see that this, this definitely needs some more of a solid color for the background. So what I'll do is I'll go back, just add a little bit more green to this. Add a little bit more of the gold. I'm going to use the other edge of the sponge. And you have time to work with this, so you don't have to, to worry about it. You can just add some more water on the clear cardstock. Just make sure that you're rolling over the same area. And if you have water on it, it also helps the stamp paint move. If you're using a glossy cardstock, that will also really help the color move. So you'll always get a little bit different background. Um, depending on how the, the paint is applied. Um, so we'll go back on this, just pick some more of that color up. It's a little bit marbled right now, but it's blended well onto the, the brayer. Just go back and forth. And this gives me a nice solid color. So this is pretty much what I want to see to stamp that image on top. So you've got that all stamped. Um, so your next step is going ahead and cutting this out with a shape of dye that you want to work with. I cut this background from one of the rectangular dies in the Cut Mat Create, and then you're ready to stamp your image on top. I like to stamp the, this sunflower with the frost white ink and heat emboss it. You want to make sure that you do this once your stamp paint, paint has dried so that, so that the embossing powder does not just stick everywhere on your paper. Um, so you'll go ahead and just stamp this right to the top. So the green is just pretty much where those leaves hit, and the yellow is where the flower is. So this is a great option if you don't like to spend all that time coloring, and you want a clean and simple card for a friend. So you'll see that with just the white stamping, you'll see the image on top. But to just make that really pop, I like to heat emboss it. Um, so I usually use white on white. I know some people like to use like Versamark. If you have that, you could do that too. I personally prefer the white on white. So we'll just tap that off, and that is ready for embossing. So it's such a simple effect, it's really beautiful. So to emboss it, if you haven't embossed yet, you'll just use your heat gun and just heat that up until it melts. And you'll continue doing that until the entire image is all embossed and it doesn't flake off. Then I just chose to add a couple butterflies from the Sunflower collection. And here's another variation of that card. And this one was just done with ink in the background, stamped in white and embossed as well. So two different backgrounds, just different variations, yet they're so clean and simple. 
You'll love creating these shimmery backgrounds. Just make sure you spritz some water into the stamp paint before you brayer. Also, clean your brayer right after you're finished using it. You'll have so much fun creating those shimmery backgrounds. Visit our website at heartfeltcreations.us for more inspiration on all your card making and scrapbooking projects. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you won't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time.